channel, how's it going? It's your boy Jelly, back with another video on Transport Fever. Guys, today is going to be a really big day here in Transport Fever. It's episode number four, and welcome back to Eastwood. Eastwood is the village we started with in episode three. Um, it's, it's looking fantastic, actually, but... We are running into some issues. Just like every single time I play video games, we, uh, we, we tend to run into issues. So as you guys can see, these horses here, they are uh, taking a little bit of a strange route. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, because these guys are heading back to the Rote Depot Center, which is right over here. Now, you might be wondering, Jelly, why are they, why are they going back? Well, let me just show you. If I click on one of these vehicles, which is actually just a horse, if I click on an animal, it'll show that this animal's 21 years old. That's way too old. Way too old. We're gonna have to replace these guys. Unfortunately, our horses are done for. See you later. There you go, mate, $920 per horse. Now, as you guys can see, line one to six, I've cleaned them all up, but the, the issue is, oh, actually, seven lines. The issue is, um, Th th they need new vehicles. So lucky enough guys, it is 1872, which means that we just unlocked a new vehicle, the La Basiante. It's actually a steam-powered vehicle. It's not a horse anymore, so that's great. We're gonna buy seven of them. One, two, wait, it's a passenger thing. I need fright. Uh, I gotta sell them again. Don't worry about it. I didn't lose any money on that. Okay, <laughs> Okay, we still need horses for, for fright, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Great. All right, let's uh, click on these bad boys and send them to their lines. All right, there you go. That's great. Guys, in today's episode, we are going to invest again. That's right. I'm not very happy with, uh, with where this is going yet. I, I think what we need to do to speed everything up, we need to build a couple more train lines. They're very expensive to build. But I think for cargo, it'll make a lot more sense. All right, there you go. The horses are back on track. Some new fresh horses back in town. And these buddies that are coming back right now are actually old as well. 20 years old. We're going to sell these fellas. See you later. I actually uh, discovered something great. Remember this thing over here? This is our steel mill. We create steel and sag. Or slag. Not sag. Slag. Now, I actually noticed that with steel and slag, you can create bricks. We have a factory right around the corner, over here, which makes these things. A construction materials plant. Now, <laughs> I think we should um, quickly make a road and get a horse going in between these lines to just bring steel and slag to the brick factory. That way, we'll start making bricks and that we can sell to, I guess, the town? Because all these factories, if I'm correct, need bricks. See? They need they need bricks. So that'll do great. And that also means that we're, uh, we're connecting another city to our adventure. All right, so let's add another road. It's gonna cost me some money, guys. This is gonna cost me some money. Why is that so expensive? Wait, what? Really? Is it that expensive to build a friggin' road? So we have to go that way. I guess we have to choose the most flat pathway possible. The flatter the road, the more money we save. So it doesn't matter if it's a little bit curvy, all right? Oh, that's great. Look at that. 27k for that long stretch. Perfect. All right, we just need to go around this thing, and then we made it. I actually see that we choose a double lane road. I'm not sure why I did that, but whatever. All right, I guess this works. Um, great. Let's quickly build a cargo hub over here, a truck station. There you go. We're going to add it to this masterpiece for not too much money. I don't want to spend 50 grand on that. There you go. 12k. Oh, perfect. 40k. That's fine. And now we obviously need one here in this town as well. I'm going to put one on this corner. There you go. All right. Now let's get a couple horses. I think we need two horses. Oh, there's another one that, that, that came back. Yep. This one's old. All right, selling. All right, let's get two more horses. One and two. And we're just going to create some new lines for these guys. One of them is going to go from our steel mill factory right to our brick factory and back the whole time. That's that's all it does. <laughs> and the other buddy is going to be traveling from the brick factory to the town, which will then sell the bricks to our factories. Great. That should work just fine. It's gonna cost me a little bit of money considering the steel mill is actually not going too fast right now. We've got coal coming in from multiple stations and we've got iron coming in from multiple stations, but they only transport five a time because they're quite small 
cargo horses, I guess. And they're super slow, so there's that. All right, guys, we do have some money left, so I do think it's time that we focus on connecting Yarm and what's this town called? Bedell and Eastwood with a train cargo hub. See, we've got a lot of fuel here, and we can also create oil with this thing. But the issue is there's just no demand for oil because we legitimately have no factories needing that right now. So I think it's a very good idea if we would connect all these cities together and then let them transport goods to each other. All right, so we're starting off first with a train railway road. That doesn't make any sense. A train railway. What's it called? A track. <laughs> what am I saying? Now we're gonna use this uh, road that the game actually created for our, our railway road as well because the, the ground is really flat over here. I think it'll be very cheap to create this road. It's also super straight, which means we can go pretty fast. And we like speed, yes uh, we do. All right, there you go. We almost made it to our first town. That was actually a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. That's great. Now we do need to connect this town with a train station, a cargo station. So let's get a cargo station going. There you go, 100K. Uh, we're gonna connect that line. That should not be too expensive. There you go, 20K. I think that's, a, that's an okay price. It, it does cross really weirdly, but whatever. Perfect. First one has been connected. Now, remember, we also need to buy trains that go and, and use these roads. So right now, we just have one standard line going between our oil well and our oil factory. Now we will need a train bringing goods from Yarm to the oil factory to Bedale. So let's get one going, all right? I do think we have another locomotive unlocked. Which, one, which one's this? All right. It's a lot faster, but a lot more expensive, too. I'm not sure if this is any better considering it's so expensive. It's almost double the price. So we're, we're not going for that. We're not going for that. Right, with wagons, we're obviously going for another tank because we do need to transport that fuel and oil. But for this town, because I also want to transport goods in between these towns, I think we should go with a goods wagon as well. We could go with livestock, plastic, machines. We go with a state car that's transporting lugs, steel, and planks, and construction materials. Or a coal, a coal, iron ore, and stone cart. Let me quickly have a look here. I don't think this town is connected well at all. We have a coal center right here. I guess we should go with an open wagon. I think we have another one right here. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, and another one right there. Okay, let's go with a coal wagon. Coal, iron ore, and stone. Perfect. We're gonna buy that as well. We're gonna create a line with this guy, a new line. It is gonna go from the yarn station, which is this one right here, to our oil refinery center, and... Oh, wait, what? It doesn't match? I am a little confused, hello? So, it's saying from yarn slidings, we can't go there? I'm, I'm not seeing that. Stations will be added after selected station. What is Mike? What's, what's going on? This is not making any sense. Let's try that again. We have a train in here. Where's, where's the train? Is this our train? Where did the train go? Tra tra train? <laughs> Hello? Oh, it's right there. Waiting for a free path. Okay, so it's... It's blocked? Is it blocked by the other guy? We're at this station. Line contains too few stations. We bring it back over here. That works. Okay. And then we bring it to this station. Stations 3 and 1 are not connected. I, I don't see it! Three and one are not connected. Oh, okay. All right, let me, that's a quick fix. That's a real quick fix. All right, let's have a look. Does that connect? That connects perfectly. And then we have one over here. That's perfect. 30K, worth it. All right, so now we should have some income from that. I hope at least, I mean, we're still losing money here, but I think that'll go a little bit faster. I mean, it's twice as fast than a horse. What we're gonna do with these buddies, we're gonna go, at, see right now these, these horses, they're actually transporting how are they transporting? Line 10. Okay, they're bringing it to our hub over here, which is great. Then it will go from our hub with the train to the oil refinery center. So we don't need this horse anymore, which is horse horse on line 11. Line 11 goes line 11 goes from town to oh this old oh, uh, this this one we do need as well. But which one is bringing which horse is bringing stuff over here then? Line 15. See, this horse, even though it's doing well, as you can see, it's making some profit. We can get rid of it now because we have the we have the train doing this. 
Although maybe we should keep it for a little while. I don't know if the train's actually faster. I mean, it should be faster, right? It doesn't, doesn't look too fast, though. <laughs> All right, so now this might sound ridiculous, but we do have some money left, and I think it's a good idea that we connect Eastwood with our train as well. So we could take this path, but then there's two trains going on one line. I'm not sure if that'll work. I think they might get stuck. What if we make a turn over here and we just follow this road? It should be pretty cheap to go along this road anyway. So I think that's, a, that's our better option here. Let's do that, guys. Let's do that. All right, so you see this straight railroad here? We're going to make a turn to the left. There you go. That's a sweet all good turn. That is that is perfect. Cost me 10k, but that's not too bad, I guess. And we're going to just keep stretching this on to Eastwood. All right, it's actually starting to get a little bit more difficult here because we have to go up a hill. Now, we can't make it too steep, so this is going to cost us some money. Trying to figure out a good pathway. I mean, I guess this is the only way. I hope we won't have to get rid of one of these farms. I do think so. I'm trying to figure this out. Getting rid of a farm is really expensive, so... What if we get rid of this part, and we make a turn to the right over here? I actually think that's a safer bet. We have the same hill, but we don't have to get rid of the farm, which should save us some money. All right, going okay, going okay. It's not as hilly here anymore, so uh, this is much better. Okay, now we have another issue that there's a road here, of course. The game is glitching out sometimes. All right, so we do have industry on this side. I think it's a good idea to build the cargo train station right here. At least, it's, that's what I think. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Either we have to go over the hill or we have to go around. I think around is safer and... I don't know. This is so difficult. Eastwood is a tough one. Now, let's put this baby over here. I'm gonna make some soft turns so we can dodge this hill. Is that possible? <gasps> Too much slope. Are you kidding? Come on! I want you here! Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Okay, it wants to create a little bridge here. Now, that costs me 100k, so let's see if we can get around that. Oh, this is way better. 11k, we're almost there. 32. Okay, that does that doesn't work. Let's see how we can connect these two. Then we're done with the railway uh, road in between Eastwood. All right, we did it. We did it. Nice. That's pretty good. Okay, the railroad road. I, I still can't pronounce that word. Is here. Now we need a train connecting on those lines, and that's about it, I think. Although, let me quickly have a look if we can make a turn over here as well. Does that work? That works! Oh, that's perfect! Okay, great. Alright, let's get another train going. The train's gonna go from Bedale to Eastwood, and it's gonna transport all kind of goodies. Alright, so we wanted to transport oil and coal, iron ore, stone, grain, and slag. That's about right. Could potentially go with some food as well. But I don't see that happening anytime soon yet, so... Hmm, maybe not. All right, let's create this line. Go from here to Eastwood. That's a long way. And back. All right, perfect. All right, so we have our train over here, although our train is, 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 is saying it's, it can't make it. Why? Unable to find path to stop. Um, okay, it's because this train's over here. It's in its way. But it needs to go this way, so how about we do like this, 17K. That connects. It goes right through here. And that connects. That works. All right. In just about one second, I should be able to get the train on the line. Right now. Yes! It worked! It worked! All right, now please make me some dollar bills, all right? Is that cost me a million bucks? Times two. <laughs> Why are you not moving yet? Waiting for free path. Are you kidding me? You have a free path, buddy. Is there another train in the way? Yes, there is. All right, it's this one. This one's in the way, but that's fine. It'll pass. And then this one can go, and then they will never be in their own way again. All right, so that's uh, that's great. Now, let's have a look at this. How is this going anyway? We have someone here on line five, finances. This guy should be bringing in some coal. Um, doesn't seem to be selling, though. Well, I think it will. There you go, 18K. The issue is it just takes two years for this guy to arrive. See? 
So it is making me profit, but not a lot. Let's see, how this, how's this guy doing? It's bringing some slack to the factory over here to create some bricks. Finances. Oh, it actually made some money for me. That's great. Let's have a look if this guy made any bricks yet. Um, yes, it made five. Five bricks. That it sold to uh, this town. Let's have a look at this horse. Finances. All right, made me some money. Good. Going the right way, I guess. But the issue is now he, he doesn't pick anything up now because our cart is too late. I wish he could just wait here. Because now he's going to go all the way back without anything. See, he doesn't have any bricks. All right, now remember, it is 1874, so we don't have cars yet. Nothing like that. And I um, I think it'll speed up a lot better once we unlock those. But we need to pass, pass some time and survive. All right, this guy needs planks, steel, and plastic. What I think we should do is we should connect all the towns. Um, it's going to cost some money, but if we get all factories going... I mean, we'll only make profit. Oh, our train is going, baby! The Eastwood train is going. It doesn't have anything with it yet, though. Our livestock is looking pretty good. Selling all kinds of things to everyone and everywhere. It's actually only connected to one line. And that's to, uh, to that one. And this one is turning it into bread, but we actually could use the grain to create some other things. Okay, I think it's plastic. What's this? A new vehicle available. Class 53. I think we have a new wagon. Let's have a look. Buy trains, wagons, uh, or locomotives. All right. Oh, this one's a lot faster. See, 10 kilometers an hour faster. Uh, running costs are like triple though. Cost is also triple. I don't think it's worth it yet. I don't think it's worth it yet. The, the cheap one is still better if you look at the numbers. Once we get high speed trains, it'll be worth it, I guess. I do see there's some fuel here, so that's good. And this one's going to line 19. It's selling the fuel to the towns. Perfect. Let's have a look at our train. This one's waiting here. All right, it's making some money. Not much, though. It's train number two. It is waiting for train number three to pass, which is this guy, I guess. Ooh, it is also hitting the numbers here, guys. We're not making much profit on this train anymore because the, the, the maintenance cost is so high. And I guess every now and then it has to wait as well. What about this, buddy? Are you bringing anything back? I don't think it's bringing anything back. It's, it, it's got nothing to bring back. All right, we have some bricks waiting here. That's great. All right, so like I said, let's try and invest a little more. We're gonna we're gonna get these truck stations going. We're gonna connect this one. Actually, this one's pretty useless because we don't have any planks yet or plastic, so we can't make that yet. Um, how about these oil wells? We have an oil well right here. This one could be a great fit if we could get some oil to the oil refinery center. There you go. That is perfect. Let's create a hub in this town. We see the industry is on this side. So I think about here would be just fine. Maybe later on we can connect the train station as well. Um, but we have oil. We have a quarry. That's great. So we have an oil well, a quarry uh, to Southgate. And then we have a food processing plant. We have another quarry over here. Another oil well. Let's just get some uh, some horses going. All right, so we have three horses. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to connect the first horse from our quarry back to the central station. That's all it does. It just brings goods. All right, our second horse is going to bring oil. That's all this guy does. All right, so now the third horse is going to bring the oil and the stone to the train station in this town. There you go. So what will happen is it'll collect here and then a horse will go there and, and, and bring it to the train station to sell it. That way we'll make some money, I, I hope. Although the horses are pretty slow. And this one, this one actually might need two. Might need two on this line. Considering it's pretty far away. All right, around Southgate, I only see one plant and that's this thing, the machine factory. It's actually a really big profit maker, um, but we don't have any plastic yet. So there's that. We have another quarry over here. We could connect to Midden Hall. Oh, we have a plastic maker. That's great. Do we have another plastic maker going anywhere? See that we have one over here, but it's not doing anything. Is someone bringing steel to the town, by the way? I don't know. I don't think anyone's bringing steel to Eastwood. Line five. This one's bringing it over here. Okay. Line six. Okay, someone is. Someone is bringing it to Eastwood. That's great. What we could do is we could connect another horse from the cargo station over here to our machine factory or goods factory that way we'll uh, produce some plastic all right going great the good thing is we're uh, we're starting all these oil wells and stuff we got a quarry over here i don't think it's doing anything yet though 
Is it selling the stone? No, it's not. Is it making oil? It is making oil. That's good. It's picking up oil. It's gonna sell it. So that's a positive thing. See, it's sold for seven grand. Now the oil is going to our oil refinery center. Um, so that's great. We actually have another oil well over here. I think we could connect that as well. Anything that makes money needs to be connected, guys. All right, let's collect the oil over here. Put a truck station down. This is an expensive spot. Get some horses going. All right, new line. This one is going to go from South Gate. There you go. To Middenhall. There you go. And then the second horse is this one. Horse number 25. This one is going to go from Middenhall to our oil well. And that way, we'll start making some dollars. Hells to the yay. Could potentially connect this thing as well. We have a chemical plant that creates plastic. I don't think we have one around here. I mean, we do have oil and we do have grain. So if we just, if we could get it here, it, it could take a while to get here. But if we get it here, it'll make money. Yay! All right, guys, so I'm working on something here, but I'm getting a warning that some of our horses are getting too old. So uh, that's, that's not great. I don't like old horses. So we're gonna have to sell those buddies. Uh, that's a bit unfortunate. All right, bring back and sell, bring back and sell, and bring back and sell. Vehicles will all be sold on arrival. We're gonna have to replace them. They did great. They lived an amazing life here in Jellytown, or, or whatever it's called, I, I have no idea. Oh, look at this! We have a lot of oil waiting. We have some fire, actually, this is the first time I see that we have oil waiting here. And that is because we, we finally connected uh, this thing. Wait, oh, it's, it's somewhere back here, uh, this one. This chemical plant has ordered 17 pieces of oil to create some plastic. Finally, finally we're selling them darn oil. Not so much of it, you know. All right, now if we could connect this, that'd be actually that'd actually be great. We could use the plastic here. I wish those horses were just a little bit faster, you know. All right, um, one thing I don't have yet, at least I don't know if I have, is wood. See, we've got some wood here. We could use some wood, you know. We have another oil well here. I didn't even realize. See, we need planks. And I don't think we have a wood farm anywhere. Actually, they're, they're called forests, jelly. That's the way I see one over here. This could go like this. That's great. Okay, I see, I, I see opportunities, guys. I see opportunities. All right, so if we get a little horsey, all right, and we connect it from the forest to our plank-making factory, we can actually uh, sell that, you know? We can sell those planks. And I see that we have some more forests over here. So we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Get a truck, you know. There you go. I don't know why the truck stations when we don't even have trucks, but whatever. Connect the forest to the plank thing. There you go. And now we just need one more horse that is going to take our planks from here to our cargo station. Which will then bring it to the train station, if I'm correct. I don't think it does yet. The, the closest train station is in Eastwood, which is right there. I guess we're just gonna have to connect one, right? Look at this. It is gonna create a bunch of planks. We're gonna make a couple dollars here, baby. That's right. See, we have another plank factory over here. We can create goods. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna connect this. It's quite close to the uh, to the forest town, the town where we have a bunch of forests. If we could get that going, that'd be great. I think we'll have enough planks for everyone anyway. See, the issue is these trains are making me money, but they're costing me more than what I actually get back from them. The only way to fix that is to get a higher demand so that we sell more, because I don't think we're actually full. See, we're, we, we can still put some coal in this thing. And that's really, I think, the only issue we have right now. Let's have a look at the oil train. How are you doing? Waiting for free path. Finances. Costing me more than making back from it. I did great in those years, which technically means I, I made up for it anyway, but... Running costs are going up, and uh, the money ain't. Let's have a look at the other train. We have one more over here. How's, how, how's this one doing? This is just doing terrible. It's not selling anything whatsoever. One good thing is, uh, the wood thing's happening. That's right. Waiting at station 54 logs. That's right, selling a bunch. So let's have a look how our production's going over here then. Production 20, that's pretty good. Oh, going up rapidly. Okay, I guess I guess there's some good news and some bad news, you know? 
This one's making money, so great. This one's also making money, that's also great. Um, so how about the line that connects it to town, which is... I hope this one? Alright, so this one brings it to town. Is it selling the planks? It is! Alright, it is selling the planks. So the planks are going somewhere. I don't, I don't think these are functioning yet, are they? Oh, it is! Okay, they're bringing in some planks right now. No, they're not. They're not bringing in anything. But it's ordered 17 planks, and it'll create some goods out of that. Which then I could sell, so that's uh, that's all good. Goods, you, you see what I did there? <laughs> all right, I also have a ton of brick here. That's amazing. See that? 25 pieces of steel, 7 pieces of brick. This one is going really well. This one's creating a lot. Look at that. Oh, wow. Let's have a look. Eastwood, how are you doing? All right. Still no real progress here. Town also does not seem to be growing. No more shopping facilities. No more jobs. That's uh, that's not great to look forward to. What about you, Bedale? Also not doing great. What about you, Yarm? Also not not doing great. I don't understand why. We've, we've got a bunch of things going on right now. Maybe to top some things up, we should start with some passenger transport. I don't know. Um, I feel like trains are too expensive though, so we're not gonna get another train. Let's do this one then. So create a new line from Yarn to Bedale. And then we uh, connect one to Eastwood as well. All right, from Yarn to Eastwood. And then we need one more from Eastwood to Bedale. Hopefully this does something. I mean, I don't know. I'm really trying, okay? There we go, perfect. I do see we have a bunch of things waiting here. Some food, some oil, some coal, some fuel, all going on different lines. Oh, it is actually doing really well. It made 18K profit, 19K. That's amazing. That is really good. I guess Padil ain't as bad, bad as I thought, you know? What about these uh, freight trains? Still not bringing anything? Still not bringing anything home, buddy? Costing me 75 grand a year, but you still not bringing anything home. This one's broad. This one's making a lot of steel, man. Some planks, some bricks. Wow, that's great. Oh, we have another oil well here. I didn't see this one. How's it going, buddy? Wanna send some more? Oh, look, we have another uh, thing unlocked for trains. Uh, they're too expensive. I don't want more trains. All right, how about we send this oil to Southgate? Hell yeah. Then we need to create a road. Is that expensive? That's so expensive, I don't get it. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go um, through Sandbach. I mean, it doesn't say Sandbag, you know, it's in sa sand Sandbach. So, uh, yeah, I'm not making this up. All right, so uh, remember Mildenhall right here? Quite far away from everything. Mildenhall is actually doing great. It's got three lines connected to it. One's going to Southgate. One is transporting some oil, some crude oil to Southgate, I guess. And then the other one's bringing it to, uh, or bringing some, some, some made oil to this factory over here. That's actually pretty good. I actually see that this town, Ponteland, has a bunch of farms around it, and a bunch of forests. What I think I might do is I might connect those to Ponteland, invest in one railway road, or invest in just a horse road for now, I guess, to get some planks going to the sawmill, and one that creates food to there, to Middenhall and to, to there. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be a great investment. We don't have a lot of wood, so could come in handy, you know? All right, let's uh, put a truck station down here at the farm. Oh my goodness, the hills. You kidding? All right, that's better. That's way better. That's quite far away, actually, but that works, I guess. And then one over here, 10K. All right, so then we have one that creates planks. We have one farm and we have one more farm over here. All right, buy a couple horses. There you go. That is perfect. I'm, I'm sorry guys if it's starting to get a little confusing here because we're doing a lot of things at once. I realize that it might get a little confusing, you know. Horse number 35 going through here. There you go. Horse number 36 bringing all the wood from there to our plank making factory. Horse number 37 bringing some delicious grains and livestock to town. Horse number 37 or 38, I lost count. Bring in more freaking grains and livestock to town. And then we need one more little horsey that brings everything we just talked about to 
this town. Yay! I think I should solve that. Look, it's actually working because there's already wood stacking up, you see? Oh, we just unlocked a freaking bolt! That's pretty cool. Although, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any money for that right now. <laughs> right, guys, I think we have made it to the end of the episode. What we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna let the game do its thing. I think we're making a bunch more money now. We should have a lot more income now that we've connected all sorts of chains, I guess you could call them. I mean, now we have forests that connect. You see, look how much wood there's waiting. And then it creates planks, and those planks uh, will be brought over by this guy, selling it for 11 grand each. And this guy brings it to, let me have a look. Oh, this guy's actually bringing in the wood. Anyway, it should bring it over here, where we create some goods out of it. Although this, but this needs plastic and steel as well, so it won't be that effective yet. But, it's getting there. It's getting there. We're making money. We're connecting all the towns. Even though we're still here with horses in 1885, 35 years past 1850. That's when we started in episode 3. Um, I think we're doing great. Actually, this might be my favorite one right now. It's collecting steel, planks, bricks. I see the planks got here from the plank factory that I just showed you. That's pretty insane. It'll then take those planks, bring them to Eastwood. Um, at least I think. There's some steel here waiting. It'll bring it to the train station where it will be turned into gold. And dollar bills. Go golden dollar bills, yeah. That sounds about right. You see, I have one issue though about Eastwood, and that's that this doesn't connect with the train station. That's why it's not delivering anything. It's gonna cost me a lot of money. 500k to build this road. Am I, am I right that it doesn't connect? That's why the train from Eastwood's not making any money right now. It's because it's not delivering anything. I think that's the issue we have here in Eastwood, and, um, try and solve it somehow, but it's gonna cost me money, you know what? Wait, what? The game just did it itself. Okay, that saved me a lot of money. Thanks, game. LOL! Haha! <laughs> Seriously? The game just did that. Boom! There you go! Connected! Is it, though? No, it's not. It doesn't see the train station. Or does it? I think it does. I think it does. Alright, whatever. Should be okay. We still have about one million dollars left and we have an income of about 500 grand a year. Running costs also close to 500 grand. But if I stop uh, putting things down like stations and roads and whatever the hell, I think, I think we're, uh, we're doing well. Thanks for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, leave a like on it. I'm excited for the next one, guys. I'm so excited. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click on that subscribe button. And also, make sure to check out the new exclusive Jelly Army t-shirts on JellyStore.com.